us know that UGC NET May 2021 exam is just around the corner and we are left with not more than 30-35 days. So you must be wondering that how can we utilize these 30 days in the best possible way and complete this huge syllabus in such a small time. We all know that be it history or political science or English literature, whatever be your paper to subject, the syllabus is really huge. And at this moment, if you look at the books, if you look at the syllabus, if you look at the past year papers, you will be wondering that it seems as if the entire universe is your syllabus. Questions can come from anywhere, any place. So it is very important for you to streamline your preparation and to make sure that you do smart work and not hard work. So in this particular video, I'm going to come up with some really amazing tips and please watch this video till the end because there's a bonus tip waiting for you at the end of the video. What you need to understand before we jump on to the important tips that I have to present today in this video is that confidence is the key guys. This time, these 30 days period is what is going to define your career to a point and that is the reason why you have to keep your spirits high you have to keep faith in your preparation whatever you are doing how much ever you are able to do till now you just have to keep faith in your preparation because be it any competitive exam guys these exams are not just testing your knowledge they are also testing your confidence so this is not the time when you're going to lose your confidence no matter how much you have prepared no matter what all mistakes you have made no matter how much time you have wasted so far forget everything and just have faith in whatever you have prepared and let us start from there and let us see how much we can accomplish in the next 30 days so are you ready let's jump on to tip number one the very first tip that i would like to give you is that please limit your resources guys this is the time when you have to play smart you must be talking to a lot of your friends you must be added in certain whatsapp groups that is helping you with your preparation there can be a lot of youtube channels like mine that you are recommending or you are watching in order to understand how to streamline your preparation but amidst all of this you will find a constant question that pops up in your head and that question is that whatever i'm doing whatever resources i'm uh, you know referring to are they sufficient are they right you keep questioning yourself there might be a bible a book that you are referring for your preparation the main book and suppose you talk to a friend on phone and that friend says that oh you're recommending that book that's that's not right there is this particular book from this particular publication house from where three questions came last year and you leave everything you leave all your notes and you start that book from beginning you start reading from page one and during this preparation you will see that you are going to you know lose a lot of time just by switching from plan a to plan b this is not the right approach guys you need to have faith in the resources that you're having this is the time when the only mantra that will work for you is the less is more less resources will lead to more confidence the more resources that you start reading you will find out as if you don't know anything and that is going to uh, bring your confidence down which is not right so ensure from this particular moment that whatever you are referring you're going to refer to that there is no right or wrong book in a competitive exam like this where universe is your syllabus questions can come from anywhere so whatever you are reading keep reading that Keep referring to that particular book. Don't go by what your friends say. In India, everyone has opinions. Everyone has something or the other to say about a topic. Even if there's a simple thing like lockdown, there are so many people talking about lockdown in different ways. Some of them will say that lockdown is going to happen. Some of them will even tell you the date that, okay, from 7th April, government of India is going to uh, ensure that there's a lockdown in these particular states. They are not people who are going to give you valid information. Your friends are not the children of UGC chairman who has their question paper with them. So why are you believing to what all they are saying? I remember that when I was preparing for this exam, my phone was switched off for six months. I did not contact even a single friend because I knew that whenever I'm going to call them, whenever I'm going to receive a call from them, 
the only thing that is going to happen after the call is that my morale is going to go down because my friends might tell me five things that i have not read and i will get flustered i will get anxious which is not the right way to prepare you need to have faith in yourself that is the reason why i told you that confidence is the key this is not just testing your knowledge this exam is also testing your confidence also testing your time management skills so please focus on these little things and i'm pretty sure that you will be more confident when you sit for the exam you will be more prepared when you sit for the exam rather than switching from book a to b b to c c to d it is better that whichever book you are referring refer it from one end to the other make sure that you read the book cover to cover you don't leave anything in that book because all of these books are more or less going to tell you the same thing the language would be different the way of presentation would be different but the subject will not change the second tip that i would like to share with each one of you out there is the importance of giving mock test and analyzing the score guys a lot of students make this mistake they think that the more they will learn the more they will mug up in the last few days the better they are going to perform on the day of the exam but that's not true if you look and speak to toppers of ugc net or any other competitive exam you will find out that all of them will unanimously focus on the importance of giving mock test these mock tests help you identify the mistakes that you are making when you are pressed for time there can be a topic which you are thorough with but when you see that question from that particular topic on the day of the exam and you have limited time to answer that question you might make a silly mistake now doing this on the day of the exam is not correct is not advisable you must do it in a mock test learn from it and not do the same mistake on the day of the exam so mock test will help you understand how to attempt the paper how to attack the questions and what is the best way what is the best method that works for you in order to complete the entire paper on time which section to attempt first which questions to skip all of this you will understand when you give a mock test you see the score you analyze it and then you evaluate where did you go wrong so mock tests are extremely crucial for your preparation they will help you identify the blind spots and that is the reason why every topper is going to recommend you to solve at least 20 mock tests before the main paper i remember that in 2017 when i sat for this exam one month before the exam i gave a mock test every day and that is what separated me from my friends a lot of my friends who were preparing very hard were not able to clear this exam and the reason was very simple they did not do mock test and because they did not sit for mock test regularly they made a lot of mistakes which could have been avoided on the day of the exam so i hope this will help you to get those extra marks that you are uh, going to lose if you don't work enough on the mock test skills so with this we come on to the third important tip that i would like to share with you and this tip is all about the importance of revision guys on the day of the exam you only remember two things things that you've studied just one day before the exam or things that you have revised at least 5 or 6 times apart from that no matter whatever you study you're going to forget it on the day of the exam and this is the reason why i keep stressing that in the last one month you should not learn anything new you should not pick anything new this one month period should be the most crucial period of your preparation where you sit with your notes that you have prepared in the last few months and you start revising them one by one and you just don't have to revise it once you have to revise it at least four or five times by the time if i give you that notes and i tell you that okay i'm putting the notes on the other side of the bed you should start talking about each and every topic that you remember in the order and you start from page number 1 of your notes and you can constantly remember each and every item that you have written and you can reach at the end of your notes that is what your end goal should be after five or six revisions so ensure that you're not going to pick up anything new in the last one month if you have done some preparation in the last 4 5 months just sit with those notes just sit with that particular book and start revising it from cover to cover that is what is going to define your preparation that is what is going to define your success 
anybody watching this video i'm pretty sure will have this question in your head that there is so much more to learn i have only completed 20 or 30 percent of the syllabus and arpita tells us that don't go beyond it just revise that 20 percent that is what is the scene with everyone in india when i was preparing for this exam even i felt that i still didn't know so much because i told you that the syllabus is as large as the universe you can never complete the syllabus because there's no end to the syllabus it is a very very open syllabus it's not like a cbsc syllabus that okay questions are only going to come from this particular book and nothing else the syllabus is really wide so nobody can complete it whatever you have completed if you're thorough with that you will be able to attempt those questions correctly on the day of the exam. And no matter how much you prepare, how many books you refer, if you don't revise, you will not remember it on the day of the exam. So all your preparation is waste. So here I am with the last secret tip that I talked about in the beginning of the video. And this tip is about the power of visualization. Guys, I'm a very, very strong believer of visualization. Whatever we visualize, whatever we believe, that happens in our life. I have attracted so many things from money to power to fame to healthy relationships to success in my life just by believing that I am a magnet who is going to attract all of that and just by keeping myself in that positive spirit all the time. So it is very important that I share the same secret with all of you since you all are very dear to my heart. Visualization technique is a very, very simple technique which tells you to visualize an ideal case scenario of anything. For example, you are afraid of this exam. You're not very confident whether you will uh, perform to your best on the day of the exam. What you have to do? You just have to sit five minutes in a day and visualize the ideal case scenario when on the day of the exam, the screen is in front of you, you are seeing the questions and you know the answer. There is a smile on your face and you're marking the answers, feeling extremely confident from within and then moving on to the next question. And then you visualize that your result uh, day has come and when you are putting your roll number and your password, the result opens and it says that qualified for national eligibility test, qualified for assistant professor. That is what visualization is all about. Uh, we have a set of counselors working in our organization who are helping students free of cost, helping them to get over exam anxiety, helping them to prepare a timetable, helping them to be more motivated to, uh, you know, prepare on a consistent basis. So if you are going through any of these issues in the last one month, make sure that you give us a call on that number and my team is going to get you in touch with the counselors. It's a free of cost service that you're providing to every student irrespective of whether the student is from our online course or from anywhere else so make sure that you avail the service if you are feeling that anywhere in your preparation you are lacking also at the same time we are here with a very very beautiful visualization meditation that we are providing to everyone on whatsapp so if you want to get that visualization audio you just need to WhatsApp us on this number and my team is going to forward that audio. I would request you that every day before going to bed, listen to the audio and when you are listening to the audio, you just visualize the entire situation happening in front of your eyes. And I'm very sure that with each passing day, you're going to feel more and more confident and you will be looking forward to give this exam. So I wish you all the best for your preparation for the day of the exam. And I am very, very hopeful that you are going to bring laurels to your family and to the entire nation. So with that note, I take your leave. I'll meet you in the next video lecture. Till the time I meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.